Hello everybody and welcome to Fairgrounds TV, first broadcast of their brew video blog. Um, I've been doing the, video, the uh, blog on the Facebook page for a little while and decided to try to fix it up and do something a little bit nicer. Uh, today we are tasting Pike's uh, Double Tandem Ale. It's an American Strong Ale, 7.5%, Washington State. Uh, I've had a couple brews from this brewery, not that many. So, uh, let's not talk, let's get to it. Trusty du Duval glass. Taste all my beers in. This guy pours a nice dark brown, nice deep tan head. Uh, mm. Nice head retention. Mm. Dark fruits. Very malty, a lot darker than I thought it would be. Very deep, dark. Uh, let's give it a try. Very American strong ale, like I would compare it to a dark double, a darker, stronger double of a Belgian style. Obviously not as high as out in alcohol. But uh, very along the lines, very uh, brown ale-ish. If you've had the smutty nose, really old brown dog, this is along the lines, a little bit lighter. Belgian style, I'd say Gouden Carolus, I say it a lot. Gouden's my favorite beer, the Cuvée Van de Kaiser, nice dark Belgian strong ale. It's very light. Um, Recently, we've gotten the Sierra Nevada Ovila in. Same kind of thing. The Ovila is a little bit heavier, more along the Belgian style. But uh, this is a pretty good beer. Nice drink. Great head retention. Lacing's a little lacking. On the top of the head, is very, very thick. Great beer. Um, if you like darker brown ales, this is, uh, this is great. Not a lot of hops behind it, which is great with me. Malty. Those dark fruits come through a little bit in the flavor. Not too much, but definitely a lot of malt. Very deep, dark brown ale. It's good. I like it. Try it out. Uh, and hopefully you will keep joining me for my video blogs. We'll do them once, uh, once or twice a week. Um, I'll keep you up to date with all the new stuff coming into the store via Facebook. And I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Thanks.